Merry Christmas, Refinery Church, and thank you so much for joining us for our Christmas Eve service. Now, I know this looks very different from what we normally have, but I want to thank you for taking the time to gather your family and sit down and enjoy Christmas Eve with us. I want to invite you to worship and sing along. Thank you so much. Joy to the world, the Lord is come.
chapter 6 it says for to us a child is born to us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace dear god we thank you that you are our wonderful counselor our everlasting father our mighty god our prince of peace we worship you wherever we are in jesus name amen
Glad you could join us for Christmas Eve service. We're going to have a great time tonight as we celebrate the birth of Jesus. Um, we all probably have personal memories of Christmas, Christmas growing up, with maybe family and friends and in family gatherings and maybe family fights that happened at Christmas time. Uh, the very, very first Christmas when Jesus was born, it was a very simple scene if you think it through. A uh, rough room, uh, a very young couple, uh, nothing but a feeding trough to put the child in. It was probably quite cold with, with family, more than likely far away. Not exactly what we would call the hallmark moment uh, of history. Um, not like we see in the, the Christmas programs maybe we've done in the past. A very, very rough, difficult scene. This rustic scene, though, marked the greatest event, one of the greatest events that's ever happened in history. God becoming human. God coming to earth to be with us. God has promised to send a Messiah, and that was Jesus that he sent, the one who could save his people. Uh, he arrived in the arms of, of a young girl, uh, a very small package wrapped in rags. And, and I've got this package right here today. It's just rags. If I, if I walked up to you and said, I have a gift for you, you would probably think, are you kidding me? Wrapped like that. But Jesus came to this young girl, and the Scripture says she wrapped him in cloths. Obviously, it was something she had with her. Maybe it was something that was in the, in the stable there. But she wrapped him up, the perfect gift, wrapped in rags. 2020 has been a very crazy year. Uh, and let me remind you what King David said. If you're getting discouraged in 2020 and we're, we're heading into 2021, King David said this in Psalms 30, verse 5, the last part of the verse, he said this. King David said, weeping may last through the night, but joy comes in the morning. There's going to be a morning when we wake up and things will be back to normal. Things are going to be back to the way we used to do things. We're going to be having church together like we always have had church together. This tells me that there, we have hope. Weeping comes through the night, but joy comes in the morning. It tells me there's some hope. Jesus' arrival that first Christmas confirms the fact that there's hope, that we have hope. For centuries, God's people had hoped. They had looked for the coming deliverer, for the Messiah. They looked for that hope. When it's dark, when things are dark, what do you need? You need a light. When, when you're, I don't know how, if you've ever done this where you kind of walk through the house where the lights are off and you run into a, a table or you run into a chair and you think, how, I didn't know I was in that part of the room. You need light to see where you're going. Well, Jesus came to be that light for us. John chapter 8 verse 12 says this, J Jesus himself said these words. He says, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. Did you catch that? I am the light of the world. Light brings hope. Light brings clarity. Isaiah prophesied this in Isaiah 9, 12. He said, the people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in the land of deep darkness, a light will shine. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, light will shine. I don't know where you are today. Maybe you're going through a tough time. Let me tell you, the light of Jesus will shine. It continues to shine. Christmas is the light of the world. It's the hope, God moving into our neighborhood to light our way to give us hope. Let me read you the story that we find in the Scriptures. Luke chapter 2, and let me encourage you, if you got your Bible, to look at it with me. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20 says this. That night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, gathering their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel assured them, Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring you great joy to all people. 
the Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find the baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast of hosts of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and they found Mary and Joseph there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened, what the angel had said about what the angel had said to them about the child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished, but Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. It's just as the angel told them. The Messiah has come. Jesus has come. Jesus was laid in a manger, wrapped in a cloth. And inside that cloth, we find the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. He is the one. He is the one who can bring us hope. He is the one who brings us peace. If you need hope today, let me remind you that Jesus is there for you. All you need to do is ask Jesus into your life. If you feel like 2020 has stolen your hope, refocus on Jesus, the light of the world. Let's sing together this evening.
If you came by earlier this week, you should have noticed that in your bag along with your ornament, there was a candle. Now, if you weren't able to come by, this is also the opportunity to grab something nearby, whether you have a candle, whether it's a scented candle that could smell like Christmas. If you want to be modern day, you want to grab your phone and turn on your light. However it is that you choose to engage, we just want to invite you to tangibly be a part of this service. You'll notice that in the next song, there is a moment of just, you'll hear some piano and a kind of a silence, and that's just for you to take the time to light the candle, say a prayer, and remember that the reason for this season, as cliche as that often sounds, is always and will be Jesus. So we invite you in this time, take out your candle, take out whatever it is that you're going to use to be a part of this time. Take a moment, breathe, pray, and remember. Christ the 